Father, you are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God, thank God, thank God. As you're being seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank and praise God for Songbird Robinson. Amen. I bow before the King. How many know that's where the Lord wants us? Hallelujah. That's what, that is the position God wants us to be. Hallelujah. Bow before Him. Giving Him glory. Giving Him honor. Lifting Him up. Magnifying Him. Glory to God because He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I'm just a little excited. Hallelujah. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus hey, 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 hey. and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. I thank God for reaching way down and picking me up. I thank God for turning me around. Glory to God. I thank him for a new mindset. I thank him for a new heart. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I do honor my pastor, Superintendent L.T. Walker, Jr., to his administrative assistants, Ella Steve Mullins, glory to God, Prophet Dwight Hayes, glory to God, and to Brother Charles Lindley, glory to God, and their wives in their respective places. Thank you, Sister Candice, glory to God, for moderating the service today, a job well done. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, God is taking miles out of New Heights. We on our way. Look at somebody say, we on our way. for a word for his people. I said, God, what shall I render to the people? And when he gave me this subject, I said, I went back to Sarah and I said, God, what shall I render to the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also came back. Hallelujah. So I'm here to do what God has called me to do. We've heard sermons on blessings, deliverance, and God will bring you out. Mm -hmm. God will set you free. Come on, come on. And God said the people need to know yeah. that hell is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So today I come to talk to you about a place called hell. Oh my God, my God, my God. A place called hell. Right, we live in a time now where people don't believe that hell is real. And they don't believe that once they leave here, glory to God, they're going to spend eternity somewhere. And it's either going to be heaven or hell, glory to God. It's according to your choice. A lot of times we make choices and not realizing that other people are connected to the choices that we make. Oh my God. My God. My God. So well, let's go to the book of Numbers. Numbers, the 16th chapter, the 32nd to the 35th verse. There is a place called hell. We live in a time where people are saying that hell doesn't exist. And that you're going through hell while you're already on earth. Oh, but I want to tell them, no, there is a hell. What is hell? Uh, it is beyond anything that you or I can imagine. The Bible tells us in Matthew 8 and 12 that weeping is going to be there. Wailing, Matthew 13, 42. Gnashing of teeth. Matthew 13, 50. Darkness. Oh, Matthew 25 and 30. Oh, oh, my God. Flames of fire. Oh. Matthew 25 and 30. Luke 16 and 24. Burning eternally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everlasting punishment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isaiah 33 and 14 talks about burning up everything in numbers the 16th chapter glory to God and the 32nd verse it said the earth opened its mouth mm -hmm. and swallowed them and their household all course people <clears throat> and all their possessions and they went down alive in hell with all that belonged to them. Read the book, read the book. The earth closed over them. Mm -hmm. And they vanished from the assembly. At their cries, and all people of Israel who were around them fled because they thought the earth may swallow them too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire also came out from the Lord and consume the 250 men who were presenting the incense. Mm -hmm. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearers and the doers of, of his word. Yeah. Glory to God. God, Moses had been speaking to the people and he was trying to get them to obey God. Mm -hmm. Superintendent Walker has been preaching the word, trying to get people to obey God. Administrative assistant Steve Mullins has been preaching the word, trying to get them to obey God. Okay. Minister Charles Lindley, glory to God, has been teaching and preaching the word, trying to get them to obey God. Okay. Prophet Haynes, glory, prophesying to the house and telling them, obey God. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. Glory to God. And so Moses was telling them, I didn't come in my own will, but I come in the will of God. That the will of God may be manifested. And so I'm saying to Facebook Live and everybody that's under the sound of my voice, glory to God. Holly, we don't come in our own will, but we submit to the will of God. Evangelist Lula Robinson teaching Sunday school, Sunday after Sunday, trying to get the people to come to God. If you don't know by now, it is repentance. Yes, it's time to turn your face to the wall and say your prayers. Oh, yeah. To do what Hezekiah did when God sent the prophet Isaiah to Hezekiah's home. Yes. Glory to God. And God told Isaiah, he said, go and tell Hezekiah that he shall surely die yes. and not live. Yes, but the Bible said that Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. Turning your face to the wall means that I'm turning away from everything and I want to turn to God. I'm going to take my problems and my issues. I'm going to lay them. 
so he can fix it. So Hezekiah turned his back and his face toward God. He began to look toward heaven. The Bible doesn't say exactly what he prayed, but I just believe that he prayed a prayer that changed the mind of God. Because the Bible said before I I don't want him to say that. Depart from me. 
Let's go to the book of Luke. The 16th chapter. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The 19th verse. And these were the words of Jesus. Uh -huh. Come on, Holy God. As he was teaching Thank you, God. his disciples, uh -huh. he dropped the parable before. Glory to God. And the Bible said there was a rich man. Mm -hmm. Now, my Bible reads a little different because this is one of my study Bibles. Yeah. Who were dressed in purple and fine linen. In other words, he was wealthy. Mm hmm. Couldn't touch him, mother. Mm -hmm. Clean like you and Mother Irma J. Pendleton are today. That's right. Untouchable. <laughs> From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Mm -hmm. Clean. Yeah. Clean. Glory to God. So the rich man was dressed in purple and fine linen. Mm -hmm. Feasting lavishly. Living high on the hall. Mm. Come on. Know anybody like that? Mm -hmm. I heard somebody say the earth is the Lord and the food is there. It is. It belongs to God, but he don't want us to get caught up in it. Amen. He even told the children of Israel, he said, when you come into your land of plenty, don't forget, don't forget who brought you out. Don't you get caught up. Glory to God. Because I blessed you with the house on the hill and I, I gave you some change of clothes. You only had one dress and one pair of pants. Now you got two and you think you're all of that in a bag of chips. Come on back there. All right now. All right now. Come on. Glory to God. So he was living lavishly. Come on. And the Bible said every day. But there was a poor man named Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who was covered with sores. And he was laying at the gate. My God. My Hallelujah. God. Sometimes when God brings us out or people out, glory to God, we get above ourselves. Sister Brenda, you. you remember we used to drive a car past that was smoking. <laughs> we cranked it up, it was smoking. We turned it off and it was still smoking. <laughs> Sister Erica, glory to God. And not only was it smoking, but it was jumping, Sister Candace. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. And then God, who so merciful, blessed us with a nice call. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. And sometimes people get beside us. Oh, I don't want nobody riding in here in this. God done bought this for me. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad y'all got your shout out. Cause I'll be talking about making sure we don't go to hell. But there's a place called hell. Glory to God. And the little bitty things that we do will cause us to get there. The little sneaky things that we do. Glory to God. Uh-huh. Talking out of the side of our neck, Mother Irma. Glory. It'll get you in hell. Glory to God. On the phone talking about folks. It'll get you to hell. Glory to God. Amen. Going from house to house, being a busybody will get you to hell. Come on now. Glory to God. Yes, and so he was well. Had everything. But here was Lazarus laying at the gate. Mm -hmm. The rich man, no doubt, was eating steak huh, Sunday through Saturday mm -hmm. and looking both ways, mm -hmm. trying to see what's next. Mm -hmm. And here the rich man, here the poor man, laying there. Mm -hmm. And we have people like that in corporate America. Amen. Oh, I'm going to touch home. We got people like that in the church, Pastor. They cook a big old meal, and they know sister walk over there struggling. I'm just using myself for an example. Because y'all know me by now. If I'm struggling, I'm going to ask. The Bible says you have not because you ask me. Right, right. Glory to God. That's why I ask every Sunday, who cooked today? <laughs> Glory to God. And so Lazarus was hungry. And we got people like that. They will cook a big meal, and knowing the woman next door mm -hmm. is struggling with her children. My God, my God. You know she ain't got food in that house. And you know you and brother man ain't gonna eat it all. Amen. That's right. Or perhaps if you're by yourself, you know you're not gonna eat it all. That's right. So what we do? We bag it up, sister brother, put it in the freezer, out of sight, out of mind. Mm -mm -mm. After a while, this freezer burn. Uh -huh. We can't do nothing with it. 
but throw it away. Amen. Glory to God. When we could have shared. That's, That's what God right. is about. Right. He's about sharing. He's about love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, the rich man, glory to God. Uh, when he came out of his house, in one of my other Bibles, it said he walked over Lazarus. My God. And we got people like walk that today. Open. Hallelujah. They'll walk right by. Right. Knowing you're struggling. Woo. Knowing you're trying to do right. Glory to God. Knowing you're trying to do the right thing. And you know what the Lord dropped in my spirit? He said they are so down on the on, on the on the African uh young male, but ain't nobody reaching a hand out to help them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You don't know the condition that they're in. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know how far they're back against the wall and how long he's been there. But all you can do is just stand back and predict. Oh, I said, oh, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because you never stop to have a conversation with them. You just looked on and you assumed that they were lazy. You assumed oh my God, my God. that they didn't want to work. Speak, speak. You assumed mm -hmm. That they don't want to provide for the family. Mm -hmm. But instead of having a conversation and finding out yep. Thank you, what's really going on the inside, mm -hmm. we don't do that. Say that first lady. Uh -huh. And as believers, as, as missionaries, as, as, as ambassadors of God, that is what we're supposed to do. Glory to God. We are supposed to chat with people, talk to them, and find out what's making them tick. Why are you acting this way? Why are you in this condition? Because there is a place called hell, and I want to help you not to go there. I want to make sure you don't go to hell because it is real. The rich man is testifying to us here through my Jesus God, God. in the 16th chapter of Luke. Glory to God. Because I had some people tell me, oh, hell ain't real. When you leave here, that's it. I said, no, nah, baby, that's the beginning. That's the beginning of eternity. Because your soul got to travel somewhere. And it depends on you. How you chose. What did you choose to do? Did you choose to live for the Lord? Or did you choose to do your own thing? If you chose to live for God. And allow him. Glory to God. To have a relationship with you. Guess what? You on your way to heaven. But if you chose to live for the devil. Guess what? You on your way to heaven. My God, my God. I'm preaching about hell today. So there are many that will go that are going. <clears throat> the rich man went to hell, hallelujah, because he rejected the will of God. Right. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, huh? Mm -hmm. That's why Lazarus was laid out there before the gate. That's why Lazarus was at his door. Glory to God. It was the will of God because God was trying to humble the rich man. And he was trying to show him, here is a man that has nothing and you are a man that have it all. I have blessed you with everything. And I'm trying to show you how to humble yourself. I'm trying to show you how to share with others. I'm trying to show you how to give into other people's lives. Amen. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. But the rich man missed it. Mm -hmm. He God, went on about his God. business. Yeah. And the Bible said that he died. Uh -huh. Some people think they're going to live forever. I got news for you today. Oh, you ain't going to live forever. Amen. Uh -huh. It's appointed unto man to die. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, and after that. Judgment. Uh huh. What you say? Uh -huh. Judgment. Yes, sir. Is coming. Mm, my God. So the rich man died, and he lifted up his eyes in heaven. Not only did he die, but Lazarus the beggar died too. Uh huh. No doubt in my mind, he died probably of starvation because he couldn't get nothing to eat. He laid there day after day. Glory to God. Night after night, laid there, and the rich man had cold ice water. Sister Pam. And he saw Father Abraham. Mm -hmm. 
And in Abraham's bosom, he saw somebody there. And guess who it was? It was the poor man. Oh my God. It was Lazarus in his bosom. And the rich man, look it up. He was in hell. Whatever y'all want to call it, hell, shallow, oh, glory to God, the bottom pit is still hell. He was in hell. Look it up. In torment. Burning. Sweating. Couldn't pray. Who are you going to pray to? Who going to hear your prayer in hell? My Ooh. God. Oh, what you going to say in hell? Nothing you say will, will matter, glory to God. Once you get in, you can't get out. Because last time I checked, Sister Pam, hell was built with no back door. That's why it's at the bottom. That's why it's at the bottom, glory to God. Because with the bottom, there is no back door. Yeah. 
it was prepared for them. Who will go to hell? Those who reject the word of God. Those who reject God's law. Huh? Those who reject God. Everybody talks about Jezebel. And we know that Jezebel came to tempt the prophets. Mm -hmm. Had Elijah on the run, didn't she? Yes, yes. Had him hiding in the cave. <laughs> the same Elijah said, that this be God, let him answer by fire. <laughs> well, this, this woman, this Jezebel, had him hiding in the cave. Yes. Oh, but God gave the prophet strength. And he prophesied it to him. And said, this very day, the dogs, they're going to eat your flesh. They're going to tear you asunder. Yeah. Why? <laughs> you mess with the people of God. Uh -huh. yeah. You put your mouth on God's people. We don't know who's God's property. That's right, right. right. Mm -mm. Because God has no respect of person. That's right. Glory to God. He used Sister Candace just like he'll use me. Amen. He'll use Evangelist Robinson. Glory to just, He'll use Erica just like he used Evangelist Robinson. Oh, yes. All it is is a yes to your will. Uh -huh. yeah. A yes I'll open. Oh, yeah. I'll do what you say, God. So Jezebel, I know mother, they said she in hell for her, her lipstick, her makeup, her britches, her daisy dukes, but I come to tell you she in hell because she rejected God. Mm -hmm. When we reject God, oh, come on. we reject the plan of God. Uh -huh. And the plan of God was to send his son Jesus to die for the sins of the world. Amen. When we reject God, we're saying to, to, to him that I, I don't want it. When we don't want to live for God, when we don't want to stop our ways, glory to God, we're saying, I don't want this Jesus. Mm -hmm. say that, say that, say that. I'm not concerned about him dying on the cross for me. Mm -hmm. I don't care about him being whooped all night long and pierced in the side and, and oh, spitting in his face. I'm, I'm not concerned about that. I don't want that. I come to tell you there is a place called hell. And when you reject God, that's where you'll be. Mm -hmm. 